Good morning guys. Happy Saturday. It's the weekend and I have no plans. I got a lot of work done yesterday, a lot of errands done. So today I think it's going to be a pretty chill day. So I thought maybe we could hang out. Let's hang out. Pretty much just got up so I'm going to get showered and ready for my day. Have you guys noticed your grooming habits have changed during quarantine? One thing I noticed that I'm doing is flossing more and shaving less. <laughs> so needless to say, it's been a minute. Conveniently, I just received a package from harrys.com. As we all adjust to this new normal of social distancing and staying home as much as possible, I think it's important that you know, things like grooming items, razors, etc. be added to that list that we don't necessarily make small trips outside the house for. So I thought it would be a good time to talk about Harry's. I did receive a package from them, which I'm going to show you. I do notice that I see a lot of male YouTubers doing Harry posts, but the truth of the matter is their products work just as good for women. Their razors are made in their own factory in Germany. Um, it's a world-class factory that's been making blades for hundreds of years. So it's very high quality. Plus you have a 100% money back guarantee. In today's current class, I do think that it's important that the businesses that you do support also support you So I was very happy when I went to Harry's Instagram page to see that they do have representation of black people on their page They also have spoken out publicly of what they are doing including donating $500,000 to organizations that combat racism So my experience with their starter set was great. I got a very smooth shave and Honestly, the deal that Harry's currently have on their trial set is amazing. You'll get everything you need for a close, comfortable shave. And you'll be supporting my channel by signing up. So you can redeem your trial set for just $3 when you go to my link, which will be in the description box as well as on the screen. And shout out to Harry's for sponsoring today's vlog. It is definitely a hot, hot day in Toronto. So I'm excited to go outside and get some sun. But I wanna finish cleaning up the condo and answer a few messages and emails and comments on my YouTube channel. So I'm about to log in right now and get that done as well. But yeah, this is my most recent vlog. I got my new house keys. So if you missed that, definitely check it out. I'm just about to, I already responded to some this morning, but I like to pretty much answer comments for the first couple of hours and then, you know, move on to the next. So I'm going to go back in and respond to a couple. Um, who's the one who told me? Shout out to Smile for Days, who told me that the art that the previous owners left in my home is by Ralph Stedman. So I looked it up. This is his website, and she's right. Look, there he is. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. I love it. All right, guys, I'm out the house. Um, I cleaned up, I put my second load of laundry in and answered my email. So I'm feeling pretty productive, pretty productive. Um, it's so beautiful out, you guys. It's a scorcher today. Usually Marley rolls with me in the back. You guys always see her giving you side eye in the back seat. <laughs> but it's way too hot for her to be um, riding around in the car today. So she's staying home while I go out on my own. It's too hot to cook. So I'm going to go to the grocery store and just pick up some like you know odds and ends like snacks and like veggies for salad and stuff that i don't gotta cook because this is hot today i just don't want to turn off the stove oh and just uh an fyi about marley because i have a lot of new subscribers and i get asked about my dog a lot marley is her name she's named after bob marley because uh, i'm obsessed with bob marley marley is a girl she is 12 years old and she will actually be um She'll be turning 13 in November. So she is not a puppy to answer your questions of why she acts the way 
way she acts. She is 91 years old, I believe that is, in human years. 13 times 7. Y'all can do the math yourself, but she's a senior citizen, y'all. She don't got time to be messing with y'all, okay? She has been there, done that, seen it all. She's a Pomchi, which is a cross between a Pomeranian and a Chihuahua. Um, in Toronto, we're still under a state of emergency until June 30th, so um, our non-essential businesses have been closed, including groomers, which is why you see her blowing in the wind like her hair has gone with the wind fabulous lately it's gotten so long but normally I do keep her groomed and do keep her hair short um, I I have gotten her on a waiting list for when they are reopened and I know I'm dying and she's dying to get her hair cut I know it's hot and like you know she's overdue so yeah she'll definitely be getting groomed soon um, what else can I tell you about Marley how long have I had her? I've had her for 13 years, so as long as she's been alive, she's been with me. And I think that's pretty much all y'all need to know about my dog, Tur. And yeah, she's mine, all mine, single mom life, you know what I'm saying? And she's happy and healthy and just fine. So everybody worrying about Marley, she's a-okay. So let me show you what I got from the liquor store. I picked up a couple of these drinks because I've been on these lately. It's a spiked lemon iced tea and it's really good. I like them because it's not too sweet. Just add some crushed ice and it's really, really tasty. I got a couple of these for Keisha because she's really been on this lately, which is a spiked iced tea. And then I got a couple of these for half because she's been on these lately, which is um, a craft beer. It's a margarita beer. Um, so I tried this and it's actually really good too. If you're a beer drinker, you'd probably like this. Picked up some water, lettuce, some spring mix, got some eggs, got some veggies. So we just spent an hour on Instagram Live. It was so fun. Shout out to everybody who joined. But we talked a lot about verses. <laughs> like we went on a whole tangent about who who they finna find to follow up because so far the best verses has definitely been Beanie Man and Bounty Killer. And I haven't seen anything match that kind of energy and vibe yet. So we we're talking about who we could, you know, pit against each other to match that. Ah, it was so fun. We had such a good combo. Okay, update on the Mandevilla plant, you guys. It's been out here for, I think, a couple weeks now. Yeah. Um, and it's doing better. Look, look at, oh, oh, green. Okay, let me find out. Tony has a green thumb. So, yeah, I knew that the pot it was in was way too small. So, yeah, she's out here trying to live her best life now. All right, y'all, it is almost 10 p.m. Uh, it is 9.58 and the evening's pretty much done. I haven't really eaten yet, so I'm actually going to make a big salad for dinner and probably call it a night. So thanks so much for spending the day with me, y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.